Hello guys, today I want to present to you and showcase to you two new features in Laravel 10.44 or in fact it's more like two in one features, both submitted by the same person, Eliezer Margareton here, and it adds PHP attributes to eloquent models to register observers in one functionality and then another pull request, same thing for scopes. And this is, by the way, a good example that you need to check the documentation of how the feature was actually released because the names proposed in the original pull request will not necessarily be the same when released because quite often Taylor himself or the team renames things for more clarity or consistency. So attribute scoped by is the same in the released version, but attribute observe was renamed to observed by for consistency again. So let me demonstrate. Here I am in my PHP storm and this is a user model with two attributes here, scoped by and observed by, exactly as in the examples of the pull requests. And for those to work, you need to add illuminate attribute observed by and illuminate attribute scoped by. What it allows you to do is not register those in the model in the boot method, which doesn't exist like it used to to register that, or you could register observers in event service provider or elsewhere. Now, all you need to do is write PHP attribute on the model itself. And if you are a user of Laravel Livewire, you could probably get used to PHP attributes because in quite a lot of places, Livewire heavily uses PHP attributes like for validation of properties or something like that. So this kind of comes to Laravel now in Laravel 10.44, but in a way it's also a preparation of a cleanup of the skeleton of the new projects that come in Laravel 11. If you're not familiar with that, I will link in the description below my video from a month ago or so discussing those changes. But basically by default there will be no event service provider to begin with and one of the way to register the thing that we use to register in the event service provider will be model attributes here. And nothing really changes, by the way, in the observers or the scopes. So if we click user observer, still those methods of created and updated, I didn't even fill that in. It's just doing info. And in the scope, ancient scope is just apply method, which is a global scope on the same model, basically meaning that in the routes web, for example, I have user all, but actually what will happen under the hood is user where created at this condition get. So for example, in my database, I have 100 rows of users. But if I launch that project in the browser, I have 71 items because they are filtered by created at which is random. And some of those random values are outside of where scope, which is 10 years ago. So yeah, nothing really changes with how scopes and observers work. What is changing is their registration is simplified. And you can already see that in the docs of Laravel 10. In this case, I'm really glad that the docs are updated simultaneously as the feature is released because sometimes there used to be a lag of a week or two of documenting the new features. So there's a scope and there's applying global scope already with PHP attributes. So there's a pull request on Laravel docs by Taylor himself for a few more changes, including eloquent. So instead of having booted method on the model, you just use scoped by. Booted by the way is still possible, but it just kind of becomes secondary preferred method, not the first choice. For observers, for example, the preferred way used to be event service provider, but now the recommended way, the first way is observed by, but still event service provider is possible if you wish to do so. So yeah, quite a small change you would think, but I think adopting PHP attributes in Laravel is quite a good direction. And I envision we see more of such syntax in the future. What do you think? Would you use new syntax or prefer the old one? Let's discuss in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to get the latest news about Laravel, both what's released in the minor versions and upcoming Laravel 11 changes. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.